Hey, what's up guys, Sip here, and a few days ago I was at the Huawei headquarters in Amsterdam and over there I got the chance to test out the Huawei P8. So like you can see the P8 doesn't have the typical packaging you find on other smartphones. It has a paper cover with P8 on and when removing it we have a plastic box with Huawei design on the sides and on the top the P8 logo. I must say I really like this way of packaging a phone since it really feels a lot more premium than just a paper box. After opening the box we have the P8 on its side so we first need to take it out. After that we have to remove a plastic tab and then we have two boxes. In the smallest one we should find a manual and in the bigger one we have our SIM ejection tool, our wall adapter, a standard micro USB cable and some Huawei branded earphones. So taking a first look at the P8 I must say I really am impressed with it. It just looks awesome especially with the metal built and the grey color. So having a quick tour around it you will find a 5.2 inch 1080p display on the front together with a notification LED and an 8 megapixel front facing camera. On the back we then have a 30 megapixel rear facing sensor together with a dual color flash as well as the Huawei logo. On the top we have our headphone jack and on the bottom we have our micro USB port together with two speakers. On the right side we then will find both our volume rockers as well as our power button which has a different texture to it as well as a little dimple around it. Under that we also have our two SIM trays but one also functions as a micro SD card slot so you will have to choose between either way dual SIM capacity or extra storage. The P8 is running Android 5.0 with Huawei's EMUI 3.1 skin built on top of it that packs some cool features. These features include a double tap to wake feature and the draw a letter feature I already knew from the Honor devices. On the P8 you also get a feature that shrinks the whole display making it a lot easier to use it in one hand. Of course software isn't possible without specs and the specs you can find in the P8 are a 2.0 GHz octa-core 64-bit processor, 3GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage together with a 2680mAh battery. I also took a closer look at the camera on the P8 and for what I have used it by now I can say it has a quite good camera. I took some pretty nice pictures with it that even when zooming in still showed a lot of detail. The camera also is very responsive and fast which is always a positive thing and focusing also went pretty fast. While taking pictures you can also choose between some filters which I think is nice that the option is there. You also have a time lapse feature for both front and rear facing camera and there also is a beauty mode which I see as unnecessary. Now besides of that you also have a car light trails, light graffiti, silky water and star trek mode to take some cool shots. But I haven't been able to test these out since it either way needs to be night or you need to have a waterfall. Storage wise the P8 isn't very impressive since from a 16GB of internal storage you only have 10.4GB available. But you of course do have the SD card slot that supports SD cards up to 128GB. Looking at the display it is very bright and pleasant to look at and from my experience with it it has some really good viewing angles and colors really came to the right on the display. From a short period I used the P8 so far I already can say I quite like the button placement and how the device feels and lays in the hand. The buttons are placed in a way that you don't have to replace your thumb to switch between using the power and volume button. The aluminium finish also provides the device of a good amount of grip and it also has the right weight to it so you can easily hold on to the device. The glass finish around the rear facing camera also is very nice but the only thing about it is that, like with the whole device in general, it is a fingerprint magnet. And the reason why I see this as an issue is because I really like the design of the P8 and fingerprints on it just don't give it a nice look. I am really looking forward to testing out this device as my daily driver for some time and make a full review out of it. So be sure to press that subscribe button to catch more upcoming content of the P8 when it goes live as well as some coverage on some other Huawei devices. Also be sure to leave a like and post your thoughts on this video and the P8 in the comments down below. And like always guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.